Hi, you're watching Nerdy News on VideoGamesBlogger.com. I'm your host Laura and today I'll be filling you in on the latest in gaming news. Gearing up for their anticipated console releases, Sony is slashing prices on their current consoles. Sony recently announced that the 160GB PlayStation 3 would be reduced in price from $299 to $249 worldwide. That is a 17% drop in price that has had many speculating about the imminent arrival of the PlayStation 4. Not to be left out, the 320GB model is also receiving a price reduction in the form of a bundle, which will include Infamous 2 and a 30-day PlayStation Plus free trial for just $299 a reduction of roughly 14%. All other 320 gigabytes will also be available for $299 as well. Overall, this is a $50 price drop for the PS3s across the board. On the handheld front, Sony is also cutting the retail price of the PSP in Europe down to 99 euros. There is a catch though, as the drop price will accompany a new model that lacks Wi-Fi and removes the UMD drive. While GameStop shares are currently down, executives are optimistic about the coming holiday season. The largest video game retailer said its second quarter profit and revenue fell as sales of video game hardware and software underperformed. Its shares fell by as much as 10% before turning positive. Sales of traditional video game products such as consoles have been struggling globally as gamers turn to lower priced online games or play games on tablets and cell phones. But GameStop expects a strong holiday season, as orders grow at a record pace for upcoming titles such as Call of Duty and Modern Warfare 3. Manufacturers such as Sony and Nintendo have been cutting prices, which will help GameStop in the lead-up to the holiday season. After cutting the price of the PlayStation 3, GameStop saw a bump in sales as soon as it started selling the cheaper PS3 units. How does Minecraft's creator settle a lawsuit? Deathmatch. Marcus Pearson, the developer behind the hit game Minecraft, has a novel suggestion to settle his current lawsuit with Bethesda. Fight him for it. A Quake Deathmatch, with three challengers from Pearson's team taking on three players from Bethesda. Pearson proposed 20 minute matches, highest total frag count per team across both levels wins. A week ago, Pearson was sued by Bethesda after trying to register the term Scrolls, the title of Pearson's next game. Bethesda claimed it conflicted with their existing trademark, The Elder Scrolls. Pearson has promised that if Bethesda's challengers win the deathmatch, his company will change the name of Scrolls to something they approve of. But if his team wins, they have to drop the lawsuit. So far, Bethesda has not agreed. One lucky gamer won the opportunity to beat Tiger Woods at his own game. Kevin O'Connor was the winner of the recent EA Sports Meet Tiger contest on Facebook. The lucky 19-year-old was flown into Orlando, Florida by EA Sports to play virtual golf with Tiger Woods. To the young gamer, it didn't seem to matter that the venue was in a studio and not on a real golf course. Along with his father, Kevin settled in for a night stay and dining compliments of EA Sports, then they got to hang out with Tiger Woods the next day. After a quick meet and greet session, O'Connor and Woods sat down and began a friendly video game competition, playing five holes on the game's version of TPC Sawgrass. O'Connor was quick to note that he held a 10-shot lead on Tiger at one point during the competition. Then Kevin spent some time in the EA Sports studio observing Woods in a motion capture session where he practiced hundreds of swings and voiceovers in preparation for the upcoming 2013 Tiger Woods PGA Tour game. Now for some games releasing this week. Deuce X Human Revolution is the third game in the Deuce X first-person role-playing video game series, and it is a prequel to the original game. It is being released for Microsoft Windows on Live, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360. The different pillars of gameplay, as called by the developers, are combat, stealth, hacking, and social. Players can switch between these gameplay types whenever they please and certain pillars may flow into others. For example, a failed hack may sound an alarm and start a fight, and exploration may lead to the discovery of a stealthy way past an area's enemies. 
The Lord of the Rings War in the North is a role-playing video game developed for PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and Microsoft Windows. It is based on the events taking place in the northern regions of Middle-earth in the background of the main story of J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings, more specifically in Peter Jackson's The Lord of the Rings film trilogy universe. Players will take control of a hero of the war and will be able to play through the game alone or cooperatively with other players, with the ability to adjust the percentage of experience the co-op partner receives. Rugby World Cup 2011 is an upcoming rugby union video game developed for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. The game will feature all 20 international teams competing in the 2011 Rugby World Cup. However, not all 20 teams will be officially licensed. So far, the New Zealand All Blacks and the Australian Wallabies have been confirmed as unlicensed due to their exclusive licensing deal with rival video game Rugby Challenge. That's all the news I have for today. Feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Love and peace for my PC to yours.